You know that saying, dog is man's best friend. A nonprofit organization is really making that possible. Alika Medina shows us how inmates at a correctional facility give both dogs and themselves a second chance. We send uh, between seven and nine dogs every eight weeks. Um, they have a trainer that works with the inmates. The inmates are pre-approved through the prison. Stephanie Campbell, the director and founder of Big Mutts, says they partnered up with the Roswell Correctional Facility to create the Uncaged Paws Prison Program. Inmates learn how to train dogs and how to prepare for life outside of prison. But it's not just giving the inmates some hope. The dogs also get a second chance as they come off the euthanasia list from local shelters. In fact, two of them were taken from the Roswell Animal Control um, on their final day because they would have been euthanized and we were able to, um, with the help of the staff there, we were able to get them um, into our program. Rebecca Porti, a volunteer with the Uncaged Paws program, says the goal was to save dogs from the high euthanasia list, but ended up giving inmates a second chance. All of the benefits that are garnered by the dog, we've discovered really benefit the inmates as well. Gives them a sense of responsibility and just of, of self-confidence. Brittany Rombach, the spokesperson for New Mexico's Corrections Department, agrees. The inmates take this program really seriously. Um, it gives them a sense of pride. The inmates aren't only training the dogs, they're also learning some life skills. For a lot of these inmates, that sense of love and that sense of uh, responsibility. I think it opens some, definitely some compassion, some responsibility for another uh, living being. And you really have to watch your temper. You have to watch your behavior because dogs feed off of that. Rombach says they hope to continue this program in the future. It's a great program and um, anyone who has a dog knows the power of dogs. And that is certainly true for these inmates. Malika Medina, KOB4. If you would like to donate to Uncaged Paws Prison Program, we have more information for you at KOB.com.